Leaks, leaks, let them chase Pep Guardiola out of Premier League. Why? It's a cheat. 2018 to 2019, Liverpool came out second with 97 points. Guardiola won the league with 98 points. 2020 to 2021, Liverpool 92 points. Guardiola won the league 93 points. Now, last season, Arsenal 84 points. Guardiola won the league with about 88 points. This season again, Arsenal will probably end the league with 89 points. Guardiola will still end up with 91 points. Leaks, chase this man away from the league. We don't need him anymore. <laughs>so that's really funny that's very very funny because some people some fans are really feeling like this some fans are really feeling like man I, i've had enough of pep if you speak to some liverpool fan i've had enough of pep i can't stand this guy they win too much listen club i feel so i saw i feel so bad for club because club is leaving the season perhaps that's the reason they just can't be bothered with, with, with pep anymore so i understand what this guy is saying man chase him out of the league <laughs> Even he's beating Liverpool to the title by one point, so he's beating, beating us to the t um, title by two points. He, they're always beating someone. Um, so, man, yeah, I agree. Chase them up. But, <laughs> but in all seriousness, I wouldn't want City to leave the, the, the league. Uh, I see very, I, I see some sus things going on right now. Stay tuned for the entirety of the video because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a few things that I'm thinking about. I don't know if I'm cool, cool or I'm thinking a bit too, too much or looking into things too much, but... Let me know what you think and I'm going to lay them all out to you. I'm going to tell you some things I believe that that's very controversial and I, I'm going to lay them out to you and then you decide. Let me know what you think about what everything I've, I've said. But some sus things are going on leading up to Sunday. I see some things that I'm saying, no, no, no. Something's, something's definitely going on. Now, first thing. Can't do it. You can. Can't. You can do it. You can. <laughs> Now, this is what most Arsenal fans are saying to David Moyes right now because David Moyes just like said, I can't do it. He's in press conference saying that he can't do it. So, here what? Here what? We have to be there to encourage David Moyes. But so, here we see a Ghanaian channel basically pleading, pleading to Kuru saying, Listen, help Arsenal secure the title on the weekend. We need it for our boy Tommy P. And that's something I love with the Arsenal community, man. Even the Ghanaians getting involved in radio station. I love it. I love it. I don't know if any other club does it because I don't follow other clubs like this. But Arsenal fan base, we're special. We're very special. The things we do, tracking when it's transfer window time, tracking cars, tracking airplanes, man. We we go above and beyond. I, I saw the. I, I don't know who it was. Was it Ashburton Army? That's um, letting our fireworks out the city hotel, trying to get them tired. You know, sleepless. We always go the extra mile as a fan base in different ways, in different aspects. One of the most vocal fan base in terms of in the media is it's, Arsenal fan base is just too big. It's just too great. It's just this is why you understand why other fans like Man United and, or Tottenham or Chelsea fans don't, don't want us to win the league because we're so overwhelming right now. Um, even not winning trophy for, for, for big trophies for years, we're still so overwhelming in, in people's hearts and mind. We're a big club. So, Mohamed Kudus have answered the prayer of all of Guardians prayer because hey, what he's saying. I think I've had an incredible first season here and our last game of the season means a lot to us. I've got something big for my Ghanaian brother, Thomas Partey. He might be lifting the league trophy with Arsenal. You hear that? This is what I love to hear. This is what I love to hear. I was depending on David Moyes because of Declan Rice. Listen, he was saying the other week that Declan Rice is the reason why they're not winning trophies anymore, winning um, matches anymore as much as they were or the decline is because they missed Declan Rice. Right? But now, when you're depending on him to do something for Declan Rice, it doesn't. But big up to my Guardian brothers. Yeah. Kudos. Yeah, trying to do it for Tommy P. Let's have it. Come on, Kudos. If you supposed to, if you do that, if you are the one that prevents City from winning the title, Kudos, you're officially my favorite player. <laughs> now, these are some of the reasons why I still have hope. I still believe with a small percentage in my heart that something is going to happen on Sunday. Something major is going to happen. There's going to be a major upset. I just have this thing in my I just have this feeling. I don't know how. I don't know why because... To be fair, City looks like they're going to win it. But I don't know if it's false hope or what. But based off what I'm seeing, my 
instincts, my intuition is telling me that something's going to happen on Sunday. But let's see what happens. Uh, because you see, first of all, you see the Guardian station. You see Kudo saying that Antonio it was saying that how much he wants um, Declan Rice to win his trophy earlier on in the season. Um, and now, take a look at this. Take a look at this. So listen to what this girl had to say. Listen to this dream. I said it earlier on, on an Arsenal group at the start of the season that I dreamt Arsenal were two points behind City before the final game of the season. Then City lost their match while we had our last minute, while we had a last minute header from Gabriel to win us um, our last game and the league title. Call me crazy. Yo. Now, look, the stamp is there. This was in December, 4th of December, 2003. The stamps, stamps are there. So you can't say, oh, she's just saying that now. Like it's been there for a, f a few months, a, a, a good couple of months now. And she predict this, that we're going to be, what is it? That I dreamt that Arsenal were two points behind City. And that's exactly what's happened. City leading us by two points in the final game of the season. <laughs> and she said that Gabriel's going to get the head up. Oh, man. And you can't really say nothing much because Gabriel has been on that. It's been on one this season in terms of edits, in terms of goals. So here's what she said as well. I guess I'm in trouble now for publicizing my dream about Arsenal. But what will be, will be. Now, hopefully this dream come to pass because it already came to pass in terms of two points. In the, the, the point gap is two points. So that already came to pass already. So is it going to be the final stretch? Let's wait and see. But I'm excited for this. So man, are we going to do this? Are we really going to do this this season? I'm still, I still have hope. And another reason I'm excited, especially because of what I'm going to show you next. Take a look at this. This Premier League Chief ex Executive uh, Richard Masters will attend Arsenal against Everton on Sunday afternoon instead of Man City Premier League against West Ham. The Premier League have confirmed. Now, this City fan says, oh, something fishy is going on. And that's another reason why I'm saying that. Is it going to be potentially that... There's a few scenarios, right? There's a few outcomes. There's a few alternative universe. And so there's three scenarios I'm thinking about. The first one is the fact that um, they could, they might be charged, right? City could be charged at the end of the season. And that's what, perhaps why the, the CEO didn't want to go be giving trophies out to City uh, because they know exactly what's going to happen. It's like P did the RSB radio while P did it right there. You understand what I mean? It could be something like that. However, scenario two could be the thing whereas. He doesn't. He didn't. He doesn't want to be seen with him, uh, with the city group or with anyone in charge um, surrounding city. He don't want to be seen with them. Um, perhaps knowing in the future there might be something that happens, or perhaps uh, some colluding. Something is, might be going on. Why he doesn't want to be seen with them? That's scenario two. And these are all speculation. At the end, we will, we will know sooner or later, um, eventually, what really went on. And scenario three, what I'm more inclined to believe, or what what I'm more inclined to lean on is the fact that there could be a scenario where Arsenal could be winning the Premier League. Arsenal could be winning the Premier League. Now, this is something I believe that sometimes in the Premier League, we see uh, certain things happening that shouldn't happen. And I really think corruption has been going on in the Premier League in certain some matches, in some titles, in some instances sometimes. There, are, there have been corruption. Now, uh, this is just a possibility that there could be something whereas oh, everything is just this, this, everything is just the stars are aligned for Arsenal to win this season and for City to lose from for, for whatsoever reason because City is still on those 114 charges I don't know what's happening but these are just the thoughts that's good the three thoughts that's going in, in my brain one scenario City could be charged at the end of the season after that match and lose out on the title. Option one could be the fact that City is going to be charged at the end of the season after that match. This is why the, the chief executive officer um, for the Premier League is at the, is going to be at the Arsenal match because he's ready to give the trophy to Arsenal. That could be the first thing. And the second thing could be the fact that um, they don't want to be seen with the City group because of the, the, the tarnish on their name, basically. Um, their name has been tarnished because of the all these charges that's been coming out. Um, that's number two. And number three could be the fact that perhaps it's just some um, pre-conceived um, idea or preconceived um, judgment to say that Arsenal will win the league. Uh, it's only part of a big plan. So I did warn you in the beginning that this is going to be a bit of, you know what I mean? This is what I'm thinking. It could be scenario one, two or three, or it could be another scenario entirely. Who knows? But now these are the thoughts that's been going on in my head since reading this. Now there's an article, there's an actual article which clarify a bit more, clear things up a bit better. Let's take a look at that. 
So even in this article, there's a few things going on. We see Sky, so it says that Sky Sports, basically there's been a, a correlation between Sky Sports and TNT, whereas normally it's been 20 years since Sky, Sky Sports has been bringing the, um, it's a legacy with Sky Sports. They've been bringing the end of season title and the title decider match um, for the last 20 seasons. So they're used to that. Whereas TNT, um, so it's going to be two match and one's going to be shown on TNT, one's going to be shown on Sky Sports. So they basically make a plan that if it's also that won the league, then they're gonna show it. They're gonna um, Sky Sports um, because Arsenal will be playing on TNT, Man City and Sky Sports. But if Arsenal wins it, then TNT is gonna give um, Sky um, Sky Sports rights to broadcast the, them lifting the trophy and things, and vice versa. Um, TNT will be given rights um, to, uh, from Sky Sports to broadcast um, Man City lifting the trophy. So that's something that's just happened this season. So it could be a thing where it's Sky because. Because I, be, I believe that Sky Sports are the one that's instigating this. Script. So it could be a thing where Sky Sports now understand that Arsenal is going to be winning the league. It's all in the script that Arsenal is going to win the league. And they want some exclusive rights to broadcast them Arsenal winning the league. That's what I'm starting to think because it's still, it's, it came up that Sky Sports have a legacy. They've built a legacy around broadcasting the last match of the season. Uh, the team went lifting the trophy. Um, that's part of their legacy. So why... It's just the thoughts in, in my head. It's like, it's not just this. We just saw um, Kudos saying, even though it's just one player speaking, but I know it's some of them. It's not just Kudos having the same thought. Uh, Michael Antoni, I know that for sure, is having the same thought. So those, that, that, those two players, just them alone, I know fighting to beat City. And then we saw the dream from, the, <laughs> from that girl. Now, this corruption whereas the ceo for the premier league are not going to city where that's where they should be so we see but, but, but we also see here that the premier league is going to offer two trophies one for city and one for the arsenal at the end of the season so that balance it out the argument out that there's going to be two trophies at, at either um, um basically two identical trophies at either um, stadium so whoever wins they're going to have the trophy there to be lifted and this is the part that i'm talking about it says interested the premier league are sending chief executive richard Moses to arsenal game with chair allison and britain um, in position at city that is likely because the masters doesn't want to be the one to present city with the trophy having been the spokesperson task with um talk talking about 415 charges surrounding them so that's the agenda that's the narrative i said that's been pushing around social media everywhere that's the narrative but i just gave you two additional one right so you run with whatever one you think is happening but i do believe something's happening underneath the scenes under the um underneath the covers right now but honestly because there's too much it's too much things going on and when once again we know i hope we're not being naive right now to think that football is just fair always clean there's no corruption just the charges of 150 charges of Man City shows us that it's not, it's not, it's corrupt. Um, at times it can be, it can be a very, it's a beautiful sport, but at times it could be corrupt. So these are the things we have to think about. And right now my brain is frazzled, but I still, I've got a hope. And I'm holding on to that hope until it's mathematically impossible. That's me as a dieted fan. That's me believing and having faith in my team. We've never been this good in 20 years. We haven't been this good in over 20 years. So why would I doubt my team to bring us the next mile of the way? It's not like City um, can can never lose match, can never lose points. Based off history, based off the last four seasons, we know that they're very res resilient. And even before the past four seasons, they're very resilient, always coming up um, since they're um, climbing the league. They've always maintained a certain level in the league. And kudos to them for that. They've been very well. But who knows? We could be doing the upset this season and get Pep to be leaving early or even consider staying longer to be rivaling his, 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 his youngster, I would say. So that's the video, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Help me on my journey to 10,000 subs. So make sure you leave in the comments box, box below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what you're thinking, what's going to happen on Sunday. So I know most people might be saying that, listen, this is it. We, we, we're finished. Just, just give in. Um, that's most stance I believe people will take because people more likely want to be pessimists to protect their feelings, their emotion, rather than to be optimistic and then, and then getting hurt at the end of it. Most people are trying to protect their feelings. But I'm real with it. I'm still hoping till the end of the season, the last match, the final whistle, anything is possible. Well, we see you start winning about 5-0, no, then it's over. It's over. It's, if City drop a score like, like what we did, it's 6-0 no, like on, on West Ham. There's no hope. Even in the first 30 minutes, in the first in the first half, 
if it's summer free now, there's no hope. But once there's a way, there's a hope. If it's new deal, if it continues on, especially if West Ham get a go, Mikel Antonio. Come on, Mikel Antonio. Yeah, uh, we just heard Kudo saying he's going to do it for his fellow Guardian. Let's do it, boys. Let's do it. Let's get in there. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Catch you next one. Goodbye.